uh, you know, and then, oh, I'm so upset about my mortgage and my boss and my and my diseases and my and, you know, I'm I'm uh, and my wife and kids and everything. So. Mm hmm. But you said you're an overcomer. So why are you worrying? Why do you worry about anything? See, something about that doesn't equate, does it? Now, the Lord's going to show you all the ways you're blocking your own ascension or you're falling for their blocks. When you achieve um, liberation, any, any kind, and it's, you know, when, when he achieves it in you, you know, when you become more of a vessel of light rather than a vessel of darkness, when you become more spirit than flesh, there is persecution. You don't have to be out going and you know, you know, the guy with the plaque on the corner, the end is coming, you know, repent for the time is you those guys. They don't get any persecution. Do you realize that? None. Zip, zero, zip, not, nothing. They don't get persecuted. But someone who doesn't say a thing that's walking around free, you know, like that's, that's the job of the, of the, uh, holy angels of God, you know, the guardian angels is to protect those vessels so that they can sprout like, like, you know, like little oak trees to become mighty oaks one day, but they can sprout, they can grow. They, God uses these vessels to overcome their grid where they go, we got it locked up tight and nobody can get out of this thing. And then God's people do, but you know, who are God's people? Well, Chinese are. Some Americans are Canadian, European, Russian, African, Eskimos, all kinds of people are ascending and then, you know, but not everyone because you have free will. And if you really want to identify the proscenium as your home and not have the janitor sweep your props away of your little hovel. Uh, and you pray to Jesus to keep that hovel on the stage so you can stay and believe that the stage is real. Well, my friend, I feel sorry, very sorry for you. But you would be the majority of Christians, um, you know, and you go do your, you'll be like on the Truman Show, going through your ups and downs and claiming God's brought you through every time when actually this myths God to no end, I think. I I can't know for sure, but I... You know, but I, I would be frustrated <laughs> if I kept trying to show someone the door and said, hey, look, look at all this. And they won't look. They just won't look. I tried to tell them for 10 years about the satanic threat and then only to find they were already initiated with Satan. And, uh, you know, who, <laughs> I guess I was the last to know, Mr. Naive. But, you know, there it is. And it makes sense that they would already be initiated. And I don't know why I was protected from it. I wasn't really protected. I was attacked, but I don't know how I survived it unless I just had a lot of help. Maybe it was to bring you this message today. This is See, this is the real threat. This is the real thing. This this trumps all the Alex Jones shows, all the what Jeff Rents and the the GCN and the, you know, and the Fox News and their conspiracy stuff, the Jesse Ventura. This trumps all of that as the ultimate this is the ultimate teaching. I mean, I'm not trying to say it to that it's my teaching. It's not my personal teaching. It's got nothing to do with my ego. But this is the ultimate that I'm describing to you. This is the ultimate of the, this is the highest thing you'll ever ponder in this life. And it all has to do with remembrance of the things that Jesus taught you from the ancient past before you were born. And it informs where you're going, but you're going there now to become this vessel of light in real time. I mean, you know, you can say no, I guess. That's not of God. That's new agey. <laughs> the new age copies the, the, the truth. Don't you know that? They copy it. So it's going to sound the same. Except on, there's one fundamental difference. It ain't about me, man. It ain't about me being my own little God. And being able to fly around in a tin can and abduct people and do experiments and cattle mutilations <laughs> and have this big drama with Merlin and, you know, creating portals and, and space time and doing little 
little uh, stupid, idiotic kaleidoscope shows in Norway, you know, opening up another space time. Like, that's a big deal. That's no big deal. That's nothing. That's 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 child's play. And with that, I, I love you. And I will see you next time. Zeph Daniel, Zedja 528, baby. And, uh, you know, maybe it's good that you had to wait for this for this transmission of truth. Maybe it's good you had to wait for this. This is straight from the spirit. Boom. Just like got it last night. You know, you can ask Trish, you know, at middle of the night, 1 a.m. 1 I said, Trish, yeah. God told me I was going to be a vessel of light. What does that mean? <laughs> That's, that, seriously, it was like that. You see what I mean? So spiritual ascension is like that. There's a number of gates that block us from comprehending what reality is. The biggest impediment to spiritual ascension are secret societies and churches and religious institutions. They are the biggest blockade of uh, actual spiritual ascension to God, to the Godhead, to the I am. Isn't that amazing but isn't it the perfect irony isn't that just beautiful symmetry isn't that a beautiful joke in a way is doesn't that just make your heart dance just just how cool that is in a way i mean you know you have to be a little detached to see it that way but but you know i mean just to comprehend man's highest aspirations are mere idiocy <laughs> and but when he lets god lead and he just kind of like a little lamb, you know, follows along. He, he, com he apprehends and comprehends the epiphanies, the, 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 the nuances, the grand scheme of things like that could never be written in any book. And he, he gets them all for free. And these people torturing themselves to go through initiation after initiation, they don't get any of that. None. The tap is turned off. I'll see you next time.